It's so potent, just sitting here, sharing in a natural way, just, just as a human being, our experience of open intelligence, of sharing the introduction to what is open intelligence, like when you stop thinking just for a moment. And what remains, this alertness, that openness, open intelligence, and it's like vast, like the sky. And then to see that when thoughts come in, and you just heard it, but you can hear it again and again, that they are inseparable from open intelligence, from that vast, powerful mind that is not between the ears, it's vast, open like the sky. And then to hear that all the data, and that's all the thoughts, emotions, and experiences, they are inseparable from open intelligence, from this comprehensive intelligence that, that is inseparable from everything that you're experiencing right now. It's inseparable like the color blue and the sky. So you can't put open intelligence over there and then just take some of it. It's, it's built in, into the nature of who we are, and that's incredible. So what we're doing here is simply being introduced to this power to know, to open intelligence, and then have a, a support system that, that um, gives us the opportunity to train that up in our daily lives. And that's what we're sharing about. And it's amazing. I mean, I'm completely passionate about sharing it because my life completely changed, shifted from a life focused on my thoughts and emotions and sorting everything. Of course, yes, we want the good experiences. And you can't just switch off that wish. I just want the, the nice experiences and the nice thoughts and the nice emotions. But being introduced to something about us that is completely powerful, potent, wide open, and naturally at ease at all times, no matter what occurs in the mind. And to be invited to test this out, it's like a scientific lab here. You want to test out how it is to be introduced to open intelligence, to the nature of who you are, and then to see what happens if I rely on open intelligence for short moments many times until it becomes obvious in our experience at all times. And that's brilliant. I mean, it's a simple, like a short sentence, short moments. You, you will hear it a couple of times here, <laughs> many times. <laughs> but, it's, uh, but it is good. It's good, this rep repetition, like we repeat it over and over again to emphasize data streams, so we repeat again and again the power of our mind, not the vast mind, that includes and is inseparable from everything. And, and to test it out, like just right now, a short moment of open intelligence. And that's part of the four mainstays. So like you heard, it's the first mainstay to, yeah, to, to see how it is to remember open intelligence and that it's not over there or what or you left it in the meeting place it's like when you go out it's it's inseparable from everything that is occurring all the thoughts and experiences and it's 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 powerful like you, we could make make a test like when we bring up these data streams of feeling completely um what was it wanting to hide away or not connected, or let's take like socially awkward. Like that's a good one, like feeling really, you can also take your favorite really worst data stream, like the negative ones, and just like think about them. <laughs> so, so, socially awkwardness is a good one mostly, but there are other ones, not everybody has to have the same ones. And then really think about it and feel and. and the things you don't want to think about it and rest potently in open intelligence while everything is going on, basically. And you don't have to do that now all the time. We are just doing it here in the scientific lab. Mm -hmm. And 
it's it's into to to rest for a short moment and see that open intelligence is completely unaffected. Like there's no scratch, there's it didn't go anywhere, even if it wasn't isn't very obvious why things are really steaming and intense. Inseparable there's open intelligence. Now when you come here for the first time it might seem like completely out there and not available right away and what is open intelligence and what is a short moment but the power in coming back and hearing it again and again just the words and also you see that that these metaphors that we use like the color blue in the sky that they are very potent in that they evoke open intelligence what is already naturally present it it um, it's there so we just have ignored it and by emphasizing descriptions and data streams and we are not putting away with it but it is empowering open intelligence for a short moment and seeing that it is more and more obvious no matter what we're thinking and feeling and it is safe and it is stable it open up it opens up that whole deal of ups and downs you know like you wake up in the morning you have bad thoughts and emotions or you have really good ones say wow it's an amazing day and then sun is shining here we have it every day <laughs> but that doesn't mean that at 10 o'clock or at 12 o'clock not a, a really negative thought comes in which we don't like or a circumstance occurs that is challenging and what the power of open intelligence and the four mainstays is that it gives an, an empowering, empowering, empowering support to, to be of benefit to yourself and all. That means like that you can be in situations with your things occurring, data occurring, and also able to just be in situations in a in so much more effortless way, in a completely effortless way. In the beginning it might be a little bit more effortless, but increasingly effortless and powerful way that is, was beyond anything I could imagine. Because I was really involved in trying to sort out my thoughts and emotions and being a good person and doing good things and just wanting to be of benefit basically. But with this simple practice and the Four Mainstays, it gave me a tool. It is basically like an algorithm that when you employ and put into practice these instructions, the set of instructions, it delivers the result in your own experience without needing to just contrive anything. And that fascinated me. I thought, oh wow, well I can test that out. I can come again and again and listen to it. And some here, maybe for the first time, some second time and some many times. But it is so um, magnetizing and attractive to hear who we are and that effortless way of being. Like when I put some bullet points together, of what the results are, there would be definitely an ease of being, complete stability. Like, I didn't think it's possible to be completely mental and emotional stable, even though, you know, I like the question, what is, let me see how, like, when things stick around for a while, or all the time, and what to do, and in my experience seeing that I have less and less, there's a fearlessness of my thoughts and emotions and also situations and thoughts and emotions of other people. You know, nothing, there's a fearlessness more and more, a relying on open intelligence, knowing I can face everything and ease takes over. It's like, it takes over. And I, I just relied on the four mainstays. It's, it, it, even if I didn't understand in the beginning what it is exactly about, but also coming into a place like this, you see, you see something, even if you can't grasp it, it's obvious in people, something about them. 
open and at ease, even though, you know, when we would list all our thoughts and emotions, probably outrageous, <laughs> you know, or maybe not. It could also be completely positive, but it would be everything in here. And if we let it be as it is, there's a power that was stamped down, caged into descriptions of we think we are this and that, and I'm not good enough, I feel ashamed, I have to hide away because there's too many people, just run away. But it's, it's like, um, you know, more and more that relaxed openness that is our natural state. It's like built in, it's more and more obvious and it's incredible to just live a life like that in a relaxed way. And as you heard the Four Mainstays with the short moments and then and then the trainings, and the trainings also written trainings, like today we have a one-day training, and that's an opportunity to look well, reading it and hearing it and, and writing these powerful words that just confirm, it, like they confirm again and again open intelligence in our direct experience until it's obvious, it becomes obvious in, in, in like an in ourselves. So these trainings are, yeah, they're, they're brilliant in that way. And then also these metaphors we use, they are written there. And when you hear them, you know, you know, you instinctively know. It's not that open intelligence wasn't there before. So it's, it's, you instinctively know there's something. And when you hear these metaphors like, open intelligence, like our mind is like a crystal ball, clear, crystal clear, and everything that reflects in it, it doesn't affect the crystal ball. And then it's vast like the sky, it's just, you can instinctively know. And even if then questions come up, like how, it, how can be negative and positive equal in open intelligence? So nothing, nothing to think about because ob obviously we just want the positive thoughts. And, but when, the, when you get to know something about yourself, and I saw to myself that that is always stable and reliable, suddenly it's comfortable. Like even sitting here, totally comfortable. I have a similar story like Candace said, you know, like, I would just also just run away when, I think we are 120 people or so, I counted just roughly, like just imagining that kind of number, and then speaking, it's just, of course, something arises, maybe for some not, but most of, and then you just to sit there, and it's, it's just fine, you know, it's just fine, and and recognizing that something here about us unites us all. And getting to know yourself, you know other people, and know the power, this power to be of great benefit. Like everyone has amazing strengths, gifts, and talents. That open-heartedness, you can see in everyone just that power, not being locked down in any kinds of thoughts and emotions. And just to say, before I met the Balance Youth Training, it didn't mean that I was always just miserable, you know, and th that nothing worked in my life. So that's not the case. It actually, even if I didn't really f feel miserable all the time, I still was looking for something that was stable, wanted to be even just just what to do in the world, look at the world and it feel, felt helpless and I can see now with the education and the nature of mind that there is possible, what is possible in myself to use our mind in a powerful way, peaceful way and solution oriented way, that that's possible for everyone. And that's why I share my experience here. 
And that's why also I come back just again and again, because you can see that there's something we can all do to be of benefit to all. And together, that works.